Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and if you already flashed the INAV 2.4 and the INAV Configurator 2.4, you might have noticed that something changed. And one of the settings, actually two settings or even three if you count correctly, that were kind of relevant in the previous releases of INAV and Betaflight and CleanFlight, BaseFlight, MultiWi and so on, are kind of gone from the configurator and not only. They are, well, previously they were located in the Outputs tab and they were called min command, max command and the min throttle. What happened, what changed and why are those settings no longer in the configurator? First, let's begin what were and are min throttle, max throttle and the min command. They are, let's say, settings that um, started their life together with the multi-Wi and the analog protocols and uh, they are used for the configuration of what ESC, when USC should reach max rotation speed and the lowest rotation speed and which rotation speed should be uh, signaled to the ESC when INAV or MultiWi back then wants to make the motors spinning. The min command is the lowest length of the pulse. The max throttle was of course the max uh, length of the pulse and the min throttle was the length of the pulse that was sent when INAV MultiWi wanted the motor to rotate on the lowest possible rotation speed. And everything was fine, everything was great. You set this or just leave it as it is, calibrate your ESCs and everything was just fine. When this shot came, when this shot came, things kinda changed because with this shot and other serial protocols there is no calibration and the information about the required power and the rotation speed from the motor is transferred digitally. You do not have to calibrate anything. Yes, the D-Shot has something like a D-Shot digital idle. The Betaflight has had the separate settings. INAV doesn't, did not had it at all. And this was kind of creating a strange situation when the meaning of some of the fields were changing comparing between the protocols. Honestly, Max throttle, there was never, almost never really a reason for the changing of the max throttle because you calibrated ESC and it was working uh, just like it should be. The only reason to use the min command was to set it lower when really old uh, one shot, uh, one shot, one shot 125 ESC were uh, kind of twitching on the lowest RPM only then and the min command was working only for the analog protocols, not for D shot. So this is more or less gone. Min command and the max command as a settings that sometimes might have use still but only in a very specific cases were just removed from the uh, graphical user interface. They are still accessible via the CLI and if you really 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 want to change them then you have this option. But no, just leave it as it is and instead calibrate the ESC to match the default values of the min command and max throttle. That's fine. What happened with the min throttle? Min throttle is gone. Min throttle is gone completely because it was working with the analog protocols like one shot or the multi shot or or the standard PWM. It was not working with the digital protocol at all. This is why right now there is only one setting that drives everything. It's called throttle idle and it is a throttle position in percent that INAV will request from the ESCs when the lowest rotation of the motors are required. The default value of the 15% 15, 15 is more or less the default value that was used before on the min throttle and uh, honestly it should be usually slightly lowered. Uh, how much? It really depends because you do want your motor to spin uh, solid in a solid RPM with enough torque to be able to respond quickly in the air. The same situation is for the mean tro no, no, the throttle idle when the D-Shot protocols are selected. But with the D-Shot the default value of the 15% is usually definitely too high. Please remember that the default 
throttle, idle throttle for the D-Shot is only around 4-5%. The 15% is slightly, slightly too much and it's really 100% safe in case of the D-Shot to lower the value much lower to 10% or even lower. But as long as there is no wobble in the air when you pull the throttle down. When you pull the throttle down in the air and the uh, drone does something like that, and uh, it clearly cannot control the, the attitude, that means that the idle rotation speed, uh, idle throttle is just too low. If this is happening, then raise the throttle idle slightly. If it's not happening, you might lower this slightly down. And and that's all. So instead of having a lot of settings that you almost never had to change and uh, one setting that you were never able to change, although you kind of usually should have raised the idle throttle slightly on the D shot, now you have this thing unified. In my opinion, it's better now. I think so. At least. So let's recap. There is only a throttle idle and the 15% is a safe value that will make always the motors to rotate nicely on the lowest uh, RPM. If you do not feel, if you do not sense this wobble after throttle has been pulled down by, by you with the throttle stick, then you might lower the throttle idle slightly as long as uh, nothing wrong is happening. If, however, after lowering the throttle idle, there is this, I don't even, the wobble, let's say, a slow wobble on the low throttle, then you should raise the um, throttle idle slightly. And that's all. Save values, around 10% on the D-Shot, uh, should also work on the multi-shot and uh, similar. You might want to go even down to 6-7% if everything is fine, but probably on the D-Shot the 15% is slightly too high and you should lower this at least a little to have a nicer flight experience. Or if you just think that your motors are rotating too fast uh, just after arming, lower this a little. And that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.